advanced hydrogen, I'm running my unit. Um, on the back side, I have 800 and some change on the uh, milligoss, which that's actually pretty high. Dangerous is 0.7 milligoss uh, for electrosmog. This is 800 and some change. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, each one of the modules, and I lay the meter on it for about 35 milligoss. This in here, coming out of this, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, on the back side of this uh, unified coil is uh, 54 milligauss. So I have a very, very strong fuel going right through the center of the cell. Uh, this is running at nine amps. And here's the output at nine amps. You know, and you can hear it, see it. The gas is coming out real clean. There's no visible vapor. Uh, here's my uh, electronics running it. Um, I got a dial on the front. I got a dial for a pulse width modulator in the back. I'm running it off a pulse width modulator. Um, frequencies are going through this amplifier, uh, feeding the coils, all the coils. Very, really complicated wiring set up with this. And running square wave and running 12.48 volts direct current into the unit over here. So what I've got going on is a lot. There's a lot going on here uh, without going into a lot of detail and spoiling all the fun. Uh, I'll review, uh, I'll reveal different things as uh, they become quote unquote obsolete. Like for now, these coils, um, they're pretty much obsolete. Um, I've come up with a better way of doing this and I won't get into too much detail, but I'm gonna have a, a lot more power uh, on the, uh, the field. The EMF power is gonna be way, way higher. Uh, what it is is, um, I can run anything in the cell now. I can run uh, distilled water with uh, potassium hydroxide or any other electrolyte. I can run tap water. I can run well water. I can run a mix of distilled water, electrolyte, and uh, tap water. What I want to do is I want to sell that uh, I can run on semi trucks and commercial vehicles, which I have it. There it is. That. Um, I can put any kind of water in it. If the truck driver wants to put distilled water in them, hey, bang away at it, go for it. But if they're at a truck stop or a gas station and he just doesn't have access to distilled water, he can take a garden hose and fill it up with uh, tap water. Reason being is that this is a water treatment plant right here. I'm working with some gentlemen building a very large water treatment systems. Uh, for the oil companies, and so I have some insider information on how to effectively build a uh, water treatment system. So that's what this is. This is actually a water treatment system. The water's coming from the reservoir into the water treatment system, comes out of the water treatment system, goes into the cell, and it returns to the top of the reservoir, right up there. So every time the water goes into a hydrogen cell, it's treated, it has a 109 degree bond angle, it has um, ions and all the particulates that were in the water are, are separated and they settle out at the bottom of the uh, reservoir. I'm gonna build a specific reservoir next for it. And what I'm planning on doing is having this probably with about a 10 or 20 gallon water container above it inside a metal box. Uh, I do have a semi truck to run this on. The owner is already hip to this. And if all goes well, then uh, Lord willing, uh, it looks like uh, if I can prove that this increases the mileage of the semi truck, which I know it will, I've already done it to two other semi trucks. Um, I have a customer already, and uh, it looks like I'm going to have me a hydrogen company pretty soon here, guys. I won't get into too much detail about how many units this guy wants, but it's a lot. So I just got blessed. Uh, so here you go. I told you, future of hydrogen technology. Right here, you're seeing it. You're seeing hydrogen history right here. A multi-water hydrogen cell. Advanced hydrogen, 